What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to this before going. Today, we're going to talk about good old Riri Williams, a character that's going to be a pretty nice asset for many, many players out there, mainly because of what she's going to offer in this uniform. Now, I do have to say, when I first saw this uniform, I wasn't really that pleased with it, but I got it. But now that it's in the game and you take a look at the detail in this thing, there's a lot of detail in this thing. Look at this. Like, look at all. I mean, guys, look, MFF. That's a nice little touch, right? That's a nice little touch. And even though I'm a little sour towards Ned Marble because of Hulk, this is awesome. This is awesome. And she looks like, look, this is so great. Like when you look at all the detail in her aesthetics, you're just like, this is dope, guys. Even her dreads, look at that. Wow. I mean, she looks sick. She really does. Like it, the, the uniform has really grown on me. And the truth is, guys, she's just going to be mainly a support. Riri doesn't really have a whole lot of damage. She's got decent survivability, but her damage is pretty lackluster. And when you look at all her support passes, especially in this uniform, that's going to be the big reason why you would want to have her. And that's actually kind of a good thing because it means that you don't really need to level her up. You just need to have the uniform, get her transcended, and you're pretty much good to go. Now, right now with her leadership, she has 49,000 energy attack. She has crappy stats, guys, like her critical rate is 64, which isn't bad, but her critical damage is only 150%, but she does have the leadership tag. And I mean, this is something that's nice about her is that she can take advantage of the most powerful buff in the game, which is White Fox. Her ignore defense is only at 46%, but that's, that's not too bad in all honesty, especially when you have 22% pierce. It's fine. It'll, we'll get the job done. And she doesn't have any Urus. You guys know that I like to test characters without Urus with these bare minimum builds to see how strong they are. And we're just going to be doing stage 19, and I've done... Plenty of characters with this kind of build against stage 19 that's pretty much destroyed it with less buffs than what she's actually going to have that shows that she's not really the strongest character, but she is a fun character. And that's kind of the thing about Riri. She's a really fun character to play. Her awakening skill is awesome because you can actually cancel this thing immediately. It's got the same old typical crap that we've normally come to see. I mean, I say crap, but it's always the same thing almost all the time with these awakened skills. It'd be nice if Netmar will start trying to differentiate them a little bit, do some different things. Like the 100% charge rate, like on Titania and Juggernaut, that was actually a nice touch. And wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more of that. If, if this girl had that, boy, she'd be way better. But anyways, she's meant to be a support, and it's pretty obvious. And you look at her skills, I mean, her four skill moves around. This is so cool. It's got five seconds of immunity and she does have built-in immunity to guard break, which is nice because, you know, damage to immunity doesn't give you super armor, doesn't give you immunity to guard break. So it's really nice that she has immunity to guard break in her kit. The only complaint that I have about this skill, it's a cool looking skill, is the fact that it doesn't last very long. She shoots out a giant beam that's just crazy, right? Kind of similar to, obviously, Iron Man's Unibeam, but... It doesn't last very long. I mean, it's just out and then it's gone. And if it lasted longer, she would have quite a bit more damage. She really would when you see the damage that she does when she actually uses that thing. And then her fist skill does give her a nice 50% attack buff. And that 20% heal is really, really good. And, and I mean, this thing's only on an 8 second cooldown. So that's not too bad at all for the character. Her passive gives her the immunity to guard break, the chain hit damage, which helps her in her damage. And then what they've done is they changed her from increasing 45% increase to energy attack to all allies to increase 55% to blast types. This isn't a really big deal for her because she is a blast character. Nine times out of 10, you're going to put her with other blast characters. So this is completely fine, right? She's going to buff up Iron Man, right? Which is awesome. And not only is she going to give a much higher leadership, for him, but she's going to be offering some other things as well. Now, when it comes to playing with Riri, if you're playing with a proc, you definitely want to go three. Oh, I didn't even talk about that. She's got damage accumulation on her third skill with 1.1%, I believe, which is just nuts. I believe it's 1.1%. I believe, I believe. Uh, yeah, 1.1%. That's what I thought it was, right? And you can immediately cancel that skill and you can literally go three, awaken skill five, four, right? And five, it has an instantaneous heal, which is awesome. And she's super, super prop friendly because of this. Now, the fist skill, you can let it play out. I'm kind of letting this guy do his damage here. It's nice to see the dinosaur come out, shoot the beam, right? But the fist skill, like, can do some nice damage, but you're going to find guys, so she'll do more damage off the force skill. And if you let the fist skill play out, like if you let it delay, I believe you can let it delay when she jumps down. Yeah, whenever she just lands down. Then you can go into the four skill and she would do a little bit more damage, right? But you're going to need a rage in order for that to work. And her skills are really, really cool. It's something, you know, a nice little theme in this update is that we have some really cool looking animations. It's awesome that her and Moon Girl 
come in together. Moon Girl did get a transcendent scale as well, uh, which is pretty cool, right? Shame they didn't give her a uniform, but uh, I mean, you know, no uniform, no play, at least not for me. But uh, yeah, and then she's just got a stage five Power Ranger Hulk set, bare minimum build, guys, no type enhancement. She does have her artifact is okay. It increases damage uh, whenever you uh, against characters with 50% more HP, which is it'd be nice if it was just a solid attack buff, but. The truth is, guys, even if she had that artifact, even if you had a six star artifact on her, it would be a benefit, but she's still going to be used as a support. And she has critical rate with a 130% damage rock, not the best obelisk, and just a normal ranked uniform. And another reason why she's such a good support is because not only does she get the 55% increase to energy attack to blast types, but she also gives ignore target dodge rate to all allies. That is nice, guys. You know, whenever you're using characters that don't have the level 80, Whenever they're not level 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, this is nice against Null. This is really, really good. And then the increased basic damage of both types is amazing. She is an insane buff, especially for blast type characters. And that's why you'd really want to level her up. And she's super, super fun to play, as we'll show here in, well, not right now. So against Null, stage 19, we can use Human, and we're going to use this team. This is an old team especially with 22 percent pierce 130 percent energy attack on my cards at stage 19 it is in like this is just op as hell we're getting 25 percent more dodge from Ironheart, and we're also getting you know 30 percent more dodge from white fox we already got 55 percent more dodge and we just got you know one ignore dodge striker 70 percent is going to be more than enough she has ignore dodge also on her awakened skill and i'll show you guys the damage that she does it's not really all that impressive considering the buffs or the team that we're actually using here. I mean, really, you would expect more. But the thing is, guys, she's such a good support that, you know, it. I don't think it's really going to matter all that much for most players, right? All right, so I'm going to do that again because I made a stupid, silly mistake, guys. But Riri is a super, super fun character to play, man, because the fact that she's proc friendly, the fact that she gets her heal immediately, the fact that she can cancel her awakened skill uh, super fast is nice. And the fact that she can move around and avoid taking any damage. That is sweet. That is sweet. And my proc actually triggered from the Awakened skill, which is kind of annoying. I mean, that does happen. And yeah, we do take a lot of damage. That is something else about her that this kind of sucks. But because she's got a nice heal and because she's got really good movement speed, you can stay in the safe zones with her and you can just kind of move out of danger whenever you're using her for skill. Which is sweet. That is sweet, guys. Very, very nice. I just wish that beam lasted a little longer. I probably should hit the co-op skill, but that's all right. Our proc triggered. Like, if she had a little bit better heal, it would increase her survivability a little bit more. If she had a little bit longer lasting skill... On that four, she would do a little bit more damage because, I mean, when that four kicks in, guys, she does she she does all right. She puts out a little bit of something, right? But because it isn't a very long skill, it just it, it dies off pretty quickly. Oh, proc triggered again. That's kind of an annoying thing about her is that the awakened skill has a lot of lingering damage and it actually triggers the proc, which is kind of annoying. But I mean, stage 19 with these kinds of buffs is, isn't really all that impressive, guys. It really isn't. All right, just get a little bit of damage in there. And here's where it gets really wild. You can sit there and cheese ball null here, right? Keep your distance like what we used to do with Gambit and just kind of run around, right? Run around, run around, run around. Okay. I screwed up there and used my fist skill, which kind of sucks. Okay, we're just going to kind of run around here. And this is what I love about her, is that she's fast, right? And that immunity to guard break prevented us from getting caught in the purple attacks. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. No. There we go, there we go. I mean, she's a super fun character to play. She's really fun because the way she scoots around all over the place. Like, uh, and the thing is, guys, you know, we get so used to playing with meta characters all the time. Like, and what happens to a lot of us is we play with, like, even if it's our favorite character, right? Like, even if it's my Hulk, right? 
I, you know, I'm not going to say I get bored playing Hawk, but maybe you, maybe some people would get bored, you know, playing the same characters over and over and over. And sometimes it's just nice to go in to, uh, oh man, my prop triggered early there, kind of screwed up a little bit. But sometimes it's just nice just to play with other characters, just to have a little fun in these game modes. Because the, tr the truth is, guys, when it comes to World Boss Legend, even like if you're playing on stage 70 versus, oh, we just got interrupted there, versus stage one, the rewards are virtually the same. So <laughs> in all reality, it really doesn't matter a whole lot who you're actually playing with, unless you're in like ABX or ABL. Like when you're... We're going to try to avoid not taking any damage. All right, get out of there. Oh, yeah. Jump over here, Pecker. And here's what I like, right? I'll do the four skill. And Null is actually facing backwards, right? And he shoots that beam. A lot of times when you go into an iframe during that, he will actually have the purple attack in front of us, which sometimes can be, you know, a little bit of a pain to avoid. It's not a big deal. You can always just switch your characters. But because Riri... Yeah, because Riri doesn't do an iframe during that fourth skill, he doesn't do that, which is pretty nice. Now, I might have to wait till the next phase here. All right, we're going to back away, get a little damage out of there, right? A little bit of damage. Okay, we're going to wait a little bit. I mean, this isn't some insane clear, that's for sure, right? I mean, she, to be fair to Riri, she doesn't have the greatest build. But we, we definitely would expect a little bit more. Now, I'm going to wait for my awakened skill. Come on, 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 come on. There we go. Hopefully, we can take him down. And <laughs> we didn't take him down. Oh, my God. So we, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we did, we did. We had all that lingering damage actually finished the fight for us. So she's not the best character in the world, but she's a super fun character to play, right? She's a super fun character to play. There's my clear for the day. Not bad, right? I actually wasn't planning on doing that, but I got to talking and, and yeah, we just kind of did it, but it's not a big deal. It's fine. It's fine. I'll set up my world boss of the day later on. But I mean, I like Riri. I think Riri is pretty cool. I think aesthetically she's, like, it's really, this looks really grown on me. It's pretty insane, but I do look forward to hopefully her getting like a full suit. That would be pretty cool. But this thing really is badass looking and it really is a fun uniform to play. But really guys, we all know that it's going to be for the support. That's why you're going to level this character up. And when it comes to support characters, guys, their relevance never dies. They're always good to have. It's not like your main damage dealers where we use them for a while and then all of a sudden, Oh, they're outshined by another new meta character, right? And then we, they end up, we end up replacing them with a new character. With characters like Riri, I mean, the only way we replace them is if we get a stronger support. But yet, at the same time, we still would use this character. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with Riri. I'm pretty happy with her. So, guys, let me know what you think about Riri Williams. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GW7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See you, everybody.